guys, it's me, Lewis Spearing, and today I am doing a guest review for the Geek Noise YouTube channel. Now today I am reviewing what is my first iPad 2 case, the Gumdrop Drop Series Ultimate Protection Case. Now this case boasts to have multiple layers of protection to provide the ultimate protection. But does the hefty price tag live up to what it says it can do? Find out today in this review. Now the Gun Drop Drop series case comes in a multiple range of colours, from white to black to red and black and pink, so this case does suit everyone. But all the cases do sport the same back, which is this downwards pattern, which looks, as much as my friends say, as higher. I don't know if Gun Drop were trying to aim this at car enthusiasts, but either way, the design really works and it makes the iPad look very cool. However, since this is a downwards pattern, it fits lovely in the hand portrait, but when you go landscape, it can be uncomfortable. At times. The case also protects and covers all the different buttons and ports around the iPad case. All the different ports have got a little tab which makes everything protected and all I would go as far to say water resistant. So if you're outside in the light rain it shouldn't be a problem. Also there's a dotted cutout for the speaker grill which boasts to have a dust protection feature. I have not noticed any difference in the sound quality given the width of this case. The front facing camera has also got a cutout which is perfect and down here the home button has also got protected but during my testing I had noticed at one point the button actually got stuck so I had to fix that I had to undo the case a little bit just the uh, button pushy thingy and it worked a treat and also because it's quite a massive button you can actually activate the iPad without pressing the button for example if I press here I didn't actually press the button but my iPad came on one thing I noticed about this iPad 2 case is that the button become sensitive and that's because of such a massive bulk on the button for protection the slightest press can cause the button to just go. Gumdrop promote this case as having the ultimate protection for the iPad with multiple layers of protection with the rubber silicon and the plastic on the inside as well as the screen protector this really does have the most protection as well as keeping it quite stylish so I have full confidence of going out and about and accidentally dropping my iPad I know that my iPad will be fine. Aha, uh -huh, it still works, making this case a really good iPad case. The rubber silicon on the outside absorbs all the impact as well as the plastic on the inside that also protects the iPad. And as well as the plastic screen protector on the front, this really does have the ultimate protection. Now, and with also with all the ports being well protected with all the little covers, I have full confidence that even though this isn't waterproof, this is water resistant. The only thing that could cause concern is the little speaker grill down here, which isn't as well as protected as all the other ports and holes on the iPad, but it's meant to have dust protection, and I believe that this will keep a good quality of stuff out of my iPad. Now this case was kind of confusing to put on. I actually filmed an unboxing video which was going to go on my personal channel and I had never put it up because after I unboxed the iPad I was completely stumped. There was no instructions in the case box to actually say how you should put it on. I was looking at the case thinking, oh wait, maybe it comes into two or no. I didn't realise you actually have to literally peel back the silicon rubber. So it would have been nice to have some instructions in the box. However, once I knew what I was doing, putting on and off this case was really simple and after a few goes, you know, I can do this really simple, really quickly. The final thing to note about this iPad 2 case is that it does not work with any screen protectors that you originally have on your iPad. Because this comes with a built-in screen protector, when you push down, it actually pushed down, air bubbles will just form and it was really annoying and I didn't know what the problem was. It wasn't until I actually peeled off my invisible shield did it work correctly. Overall, I think the Gumdrop Drop Series iPad 2 case is something special. For $60, you get a serious amount of protection for your iPad, but also keeping a really stylish look. The iPad loses all of its Apple branding, which may appeal to some people, but for those who like the slim design of the iPad, you will not like this case. And what makes this case even more special is that the screen protector is also changeable, meaning you can go online and rebuy the screen protectors if it breaks. So this case can last a lifetime. It is simply amazing. 
like I said at the start of this video, this case is $60, which may be quite a lot of money for some people. However, you need to remember, what would you rather do? Spend $60 on a case to protect your iPad, or spend hundreds of dollars replacing it? And you can pick up one of these cases by going to gumdropcases.com. So guys, so thank you very much subscribe to all the videos here on Geek Annoyance and also on my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. See you guys later. Goodbye.